Hey, welcome to another episode of Motivation Monday. I am Tori Gant. I travel all over speaking to students, and and so I'm excited to be doing this video with you today. And and it'll it, you know video is going to go in two forms about letting you know you matter and about hope. And so it's two of the things that I value the most. I'm in one of the most uh, special rooms in our house. Uh, it's what we call our formal dining room. And you can rest assured, if we're in this room. Something good is happening. Something is being celebrated. Something is being, in, you know, just just a great time. Our whole family is together, and and we're pulling together and talking. You know, no cell phones are allowed, allowed and, and we're talking to each other. It's, it's just a great family time. It's crazy, and and just it's, there's food. There's there's just it's it's a celebration of something. And no matter what we've been going through, if I've been having a long week of traveling and speaking. We come into this room, I feel like all is well. All is going to be well. And I want you guys to kind of do this as one of my challenges. So you find a place in the house where you remember something all is well. And it may not, it doesn't have to be a formal dining room. It doesn't have to be decorated. It could be outside. It could be grilling. It could be whatever. But find a place where all is well. Because during this pandemic, man, you know, when things are struggling, you can forget about good times. You can forget about there are times that things are great because you're so isolated and you feel like you're so out of it. And, and one of the things I got on the day, I got on my, my son's uh, shirt about you matter. And when we look in the fact about you matter, that is that is such an important role that you must understand that did you are significant. So, so I'm coming to you in this form of dining room, letting you know, man, this is a special day. This is a great day. It's an important day. I'm bringing you into the house to celebrate with me. We're breaking out the red plates. We're breaking out all the stuff that we use to celebrate with just because you matter. And that's that's a valuable thing. We we once we just did our conference not too long ago on kindness matter, where there's a matter about you that, that is worth giving attention to, worth enjoying you, worth the very fact that you are a, a very special special person. So I, I want to celebrate with you from the formal dining room and let you know that you're significant, that, that, that you know, you're, that we wouldn't be where we are without you on this earth today. So if you're in any place of feeling down or depressed or, or frustrated, I need you to hear me today and understand we couldn't get here without you. We need you. We need every part of you. And I want you to just find that day of significance and, and realize that, that this world would not be the same without you. And so I pick up that, the message of encouragement. And one of these things that, that gets to happen to me all over and I travel, uh, I remember this. I'll never forget this day speaking to teachers one day. And I was, I was doing like this three hour long presentation. And, and as I was doing it, uh, at the end of it, everyone comes up to me and they're talking to me and they're surrounding me. Well, this this lady slips me a note and and uh, I like she slips me a piece of paper first of all. And I thought, man, this is creepy. I don't know this lady. Uh, if it's money, that's not gonna look right. Uh, if it's her phone number, that ain't gonna look right. I already got a wife. I don't need another one. I'm good. It's, I'm plenty. And then I just stuck it in my pocket. And when I got to my car, I read the note, and, and the note was that I didn't know you were going to be here today. I had planned to clean out my locker and and take my life. I had got everything set up. But now after listening to you today, I know for a fact I've got a purpose on this earth. Now, I've shared this story many times, but it, it, it bears sharing again that of the fact of Sometimes, no matter you know, no matter how much good you do, sometimes you can feel like you're unimportant if things hit bad enough. And I was trying to go through my mind, like, what did I say? I remember getting in my car, call my wife, like, you're never gonna believe what happens. So you've been able to get yourself back to significance. Then get a hold of a friend. That's my next challenge. Pick them up. You never know what they may be going through, and let them know. You matter. You matter today. You matter every day. And so you begin to lift them up and encourage them that I was in the formal dining room with Tori and, and man, we just had us a meal time. We had a meal time of greatness, a meal time of hope. And so as you begin to develop that and begin to understand that your life is worth living, your time is worth giving, and then there's that hope that you begin to receive. And so I told you there's just two parts to this about having the fact of hope. So as I gave a speech, not knowing who the audience was, there's this lady receiving like like a waterfall of hope, like Niagara Falls of hope fell on her and took her from wanting to die to wanting to live with a great passion. And I, I want you to understand that there's your worth. You're worth every video. You're worth everything that we put forward. You're worth the time and energy and strength. I, I just want you to be excited about what's happening in your life in the midst of COVID-19. I, I, I still believe 
class of 2020, you guys are going to celebrate victories that like we've never seen before and turmoil of our time and our, and our nation where, you know, there's so much, you know, things going on with, with uh, different things with the police, but violence and different things that all people are going through, just violence in general. But at the same time, I believe that you guys are going to be the ones that are going to usher us through a time of peace like we've never seen before. And I'm, I'm excited about that. I really am. And I just can't, can't help but get to say that each and every time. But I, I recently did a speech on populating hope. And one of the things too that happens with us during times of struggles and difficulty is that our hope, we lose population. What I mean by population, we lose our hope and things can get better. And we lose that. And we start to, when that starts to go, everything things seem like it's against us. Everything seems like it's falling, but it's not. It's really not. You have to repopulate your hope and go find things in your life that you've already accomplished, that you've already finished, that, that gave you hope and gave you energy and gave you strength and gave you peace. And, and I would say these little quotes that uh, this one little quote that a man can go 40 days without food, four days without water, four minutes without air, but only four seconds without hope. That means hope needs to be pushed in every single day. Get up hoping to do better. If you didn't do better the day before, get up today hoping that this is going to be a better day. I'm going to succeed in some area of my life. I'm going to, if, even if it's just me feeling better about me, I'm going to pursue that with all of my heart, soul, mind, and body. And you have to do that because then that's, that's that emotional healing. And that's that significance that begins to come inside of you and you begin to mentally heal and, and have mental restoration. That begins to keep your heart strong and, and keep your mind strong, keep you alert about the fact that you have a purpose, you have a plan, you have a reason to be here. And, and that part of that is your championship. That's your win. I want you to win today in hoping. I want you to win the day in mattering and all put those two together that's the trophy you're going to uphold today is that you're breathing, that you're able to do something. You got friends that you could call or text and just say something kind to them. You don't even need to them to write back if they don't want to. Just say, I needed to give this today because I really matter today and I want you to know you matter today. And that's what's going to be our finish line today is bringing others hope. Even with the COVID-19 and people being shut in, shut down, but you don't have to stay down. You don't have to stay in. You can outwardly express your hope today. You can outwardly know that you are a, a difference maker. You are a life changer. You are someone who brings a, a, a peace to the people around you. And so as we begin to just grow throughout this Motivational Monday, I want you guys to kind of take this as, as a whole, right? And, and you begin to think that like if they can only go four seconds without hope, I want to make sure that I don't miss my opportunity. And as you think on your friends today and think about everything, you know, hashtag, hashtag we want to go with, hashtag Hope always. Always have hope. Hashtag you matter always. All of those things. Those are you. Those are us. That's us. And so as we're here in the formal dining room and tell you how it works out with these beautiful red plates, especially when it's somebody's birthday. My wife Rita's amazing cook. And we have all of these things stretched out. And I just want to like thank you. Like right now, you're at the dining table with me. Like we got the red plates out. We're celebrating you, celebrating the fact that you're here on this earth, able to do some great things, serving you great cake. She makes great food, any kind of food you can think of. My wife can cook it. She can burn. And the lady's amazing. And so as you can tell by my growth. And so I want you guys to kind of grab a hold of the fact that we're eating are, are in a formal dining room together today, and we're dining on hope. We're dining on people matter. Lives matter. And I want you to understand that as you give it, it's going to grow. Your, your hope is going to grow as you help others. And that's going to be the big difference maker and the life changer and the peace being given. And, I, and recently, with, with, with all the things that have happened, that was one of the things that I was able to say to my mom at my, my last brother's uh, funeral as I was, I was put in charge to stand beside her. And as I was standing beside her and, you know, just listen to her weep, which was hurt, hurtful as we stood there over my brother's casket, I remember saying to her, mom, you will never have to cry over me the way you've had to cry over your other kids. And, and I meant that with all of my heart. I wanted to give her hope and, and remember her turning to me and saying, thank you. Thank you for, for just helping me right now. Your simple words is going to bring forth a great deal of hope for everyone that you come in contact with. So today, Realize you matter. You, you matter. You 
have hope and you can give hope. It is our time. It's our season. And no COVID, nothing can take that from us. We're going to be absolute champions of hope. We're going to give it. We're going to let everyone know that they matter. We're going to come out of this thing on the other side stronger than we were before and having a great time with it. Thank you guys for being with me. Thank you for celebrating with me in the formal dining room. I'll see you next time.